Are you one of those people who sit up in bed at night struggling to sleep as they contemplate the fact they can't work out the area of a compound shape? Yes. Well, look no further, because today we're going to find out how to do exactly that. So the first thing I want to go over is actually a recap of what area is. Area is the total amount of space taken up by a 2D shape. So, as an example on the board, we have a square, and this square has a height of one centimeter and a width here, or a base, of one centimeter. And to calculate the area of this shape, we do one centimeter multiplied by one centimeter. Quite simple, the answer is just one centimeter, but we don't leave it like that. Centimeter is a measurement of length. We want a unit for the measurement of area, so we put a small two up here and we say one centimeter squared. That's the area of that shape. One method to calculate the area of a rectangle then is to count squares. And we know from the key up here in the corner that one square is one multiplied by one, as we said before, one centimeter squared. So we can count the number of squares in our rectangle to calculate the total area. So let's do that. We've got three squares across the top, three more on the next row, three on the next row, and then three more on the final row. Now we could sit here and count them all individually, or we could just do four lots of three. And in total, we have 12 squares. So the area of this rectangle is 12 centimeters squared. However, the questions aren't always going to be as easy as just counting up squares. And you might get a rectangle that looks like this. Luckily though, it's still quite straightforward because to work out the area of a rectangle, we take the width here, which is six centimeters, and we take the height here, which is four centimeters, and we can imagine it's still like this in a grid. And we can use our times tables to help. Just like we did earlier on when we counted in threes, we can take six across the top here and multiply it by four down the side. And you'll notice that if we do six multiplied by four, we get 24 centimeters, which is given in the key over here, squared. And if we go back to our original shape, we don't actually need the grid to do this. We can just take our base here, another word for width, which is gonna be shown as B, we'll come back to that later, which is six, multiplied by the height down the side here, which is four, and that's going to give us A, which is our area, six times four, as we've just shown, the same answer, despite whether we count squares or use our multiplication facts, is 24 centimeters squared. On the screen now, I've put up two more examples, and by the time I've finished my sentence, you guys at home will probably have some answers to share with us. So, let me just go over here, the bottom, where you can see the formula. A stands for area, and this does only work for a rectangle or a square, by the way. Other shapes have different formulas we'll cover in future videos. The area of a rectangle equals the base, which we could also sometimes be called the width, multiplied by the height. So one side multiplied by the perpendicular side coming off of it. And I'm sure by now you've got some answers for me. So the first shape, 10 centimeters multiplied by three centimeters. The area is 30 centimeters squared. Don't forget your units for area. And I wonder how many of you have managed to trick in the second question, because we do have eight and we do multiply it by seven and you might know your times tables and you could tell me that's 56, but how many of you just put centimeters squared? Check the question, the unit is in meters. So instead of centimeters, we put meters and we must also remember because it's in area, it's the unit for that we must use squared. Now we come to the actual point of this video, and that is to work out the area of a compound shape. Now a compound shape, quite simply, is a larger shape made up of smaller ones. And in our context for this question, we're going to be using the area formula for a rectangle. We want to split the shape up into smaller rectangles. That way we can work out the total area. So looking at this shape on the screen, is there anywhere you think we could cut so that we have two rectangles after we've finished cutting. Now I can see a couple of places, and before I show you where I'm going to cut, I just want you to take note of those measurements around the side. Three across the top, four down the side, and we can visualize a grid again, like in the earlier questions, that looks just like this. So where on this grid can I make a cut, and it gives me two rectangles? Now I've chosen to cut here. And hopefully you can see now how we have made rectangles and we can use our formula, area equals base times height. So going back to our original shape, there's my cut. 
and you can see how the measurements are going to come in handy now. So for this shape here, I'm going to call it shape A. The area is going to be two centimeters, which is the height here, uh, multiplied by two centimeters, which is the width or the base, and that's going to equal four centimeters squared. So we know that this rectangle right here has an area of four centimeters squared. Now we need to go to what I'm going to label rectangle B. I know I've got three centimeters here for the width, I'm going to multiply that by four centimeters for the height and knowing our times tables, three times four is 12 centimeters squared. So if this rectangle is 12 centimeters squared and the one on the left is four centimeters squared, it is a simple case of adding those areas together. And the area in total for this whole compound shape is going to be 16 centimeters squared. Okay, so how can we possibly make compound shape questions harder? Well, there is a way and it's very common. What do you notice about the shape on the screen now? Yes, it's a compound shape and you can probably already see parts where you could start to cut to make rectangles, but there is something missing and it's the measurements of some of the sides. Now, at this very moment in time, we're not sure which measurements we're going to need after we've made our cut. So our advice is always to fill in every single gap before you move on to cutting or calculating area. Let's take a look at how we can do that because we've got a missing side down here and we've got a missing side here. So let's start with the bottom one. This length, we don't know. However, we do know this length here. That length there is four centimeters. And we also know looking at the top, that the total width of this compound shape is 10 centimeters. So if this here is four centimeters, what's missing in centimeters to make the total of 10 at the top? And knowing our number bonds, it's going to be six. So we've got six centimeters down there, and we're going to use the same logic now to try and figure out how many centimeters go into this gap. Well, you can see the height in total of the whole compound shape is nine centimeters. We know that this height here is two centimeters. So what's missing to make nine? So we've got two plus something equals nine. This is going to be seven centimeters. So now that we've got all of our outside measurements and they're all in place, ready to go, this is where we can start to think, where can I cut? There are always more than one option but there's always going to be an option which is most efficient. We can still get to the right answer, but I'm gonna let you choose now. Where do you think we should cut this shape? And I'm gonna show you where I've decided to myself. I've gone straight down. Now, you could have cut across here to meet at that line there to make it two different rectangles. However, we're going to leave that there for now. It would get you the same answer, but for the sake of us showing how to work out this area, let's just ignore that. Now, label this one shape A and we're going to have nine centimeters as the height, multiplied by 10, don't get tricked. That length here is not 10. 10 is for the whole length of the entire compound shape. Look at the bottom and we can see six. That's the measurement we want. So for shape A, it's gonna be nine times six, which equals 54 centimeters squared. So we know the area of shape A, but that's not the total answer yet, is it? Because we need to work out shape B. This rectangle on the side, using base times height, we have a base here of four centimeters. We have a height here down the side of seven centimeters. Using our times table facts, four times seven is 28 centimeters squared. And the final step, we know the total area for shape A. We know the total shape for shape B. We're going to do 54 plus 28. If you're not sure, you can use column addition to ensure you get the right answer. Five plus two plus one is eight. The answer is 82 centimeters squared. Okay, so hopefully by now, you are experts at working out the area of compound shapes. You know how to work out the area of a rectangle. You know how to split a shape into two rectangles or more. You know how to find the missing sides as well. Can you combine everything we've learned in this video and be sure to go back and watch again if you need some extra help to answer this question. What is the total area of this compound shape? Now you might already have some ideas of where you can cut to make two very nice rectangles that we can work out easily. And you may also be thinking, hmm, 
what can I do once I've got both of the areas of each rectangle? So if you've got an answer, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to let you leave us a comment down below and be sure to subscribe if you want some more videos in the future.